Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louis from Music for Humans and today I'm going to show you how to set up a reliable bow grip. Before we actually get started with the bow grip, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can get the latest tips on how to play the violin. Alright, so first thing, you must know the name of the different parts of the bow before we actually get started. This way it's gonna be a lot easier for you to understand where you need to place your hand and why you have to put it there. Our bow is divided into four main parts. First, the bow stick, which is often made out of wood or carbon fiber, and its primary function is to hold the hair in place. Second one, the bow hair. Bow hair are usually made out of horse hair, and this is used to glide across the string to create the sound out of the violin. The tip of the bow is located at the uppermost point and the hair of the bow are attached at the tip through the tip plate. The last part and probably the most important for the bow grip is the frog. It's located at the lowermost point and this is where we actually hold the bow. The frog include many smaller parts including the winding, the grip and the screw which tighten and loosen the bow hair. Now that you know everything about the bow, you're ready to get started with the actual bow grip. I personally use the Franco-Belgian bow hold. This is the technique I've learned to master through the years and that I feel the most comfortable teaching my students. The most important thing in any bow hold is comfort and relaxation. Bow grip instructions can quickly get complicated and overwhelming, so I'm gonna keep it very simple for you with those three easy steps to follow. First thing, put the bow right under the middle phalange of your fingers and let your fingers fall over the side of the frog. Then bring your thumb in a round shape between the frog and the bow grip. Then lean your hand towards your pointer finger until your pinky effortlessly goes on top of the bow. The distance between your fingers should be the same as when you let your hand hang completely relaxed. All fingers, including the thumb, should be round and comfortable. The middle finger is always opposite of the thumb. The tip of the ring finger should be near the eye of the frog. Your pinky stands on top of the stick. And your pointer finger should be leaning on top of the winding. Now that you can hold your bow like a pro, let's go over the function of each fingers. They all have a specific job. The thumb holds the bow and provides the axis for all action of your bow hand. Your middle finger closes the ring with the thumb and has no other function than securing the fulcrum. The index finger has two functions. First, it applies the bow pressure on the string. The second function of the index finger is to control the sounding point. It can move the bow towards the bridge. The ring finger also controls the sounding point. It can pull the bow towards the fingerboard. Finally, the pinky can lift the bow pressure. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to hold your bow like a pro. Practice makes perfect, so grab your bow and your violin and get started. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe for more educational violin video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out to me at musicforhumans.com.